Lewis from the right weighs 16 stone, 10 and a half pounds for this uh, fight. Gerard is giving away nine and a half pounds. Lewis, as you see, beautifully proportioned for a heavyweight boxer, not muscle bound, and considered a good boxer. Box fighter, really, because he can punch, he's proved that, certainly in the amateur ring, uh, but has got a good left jab. Gerard's had over 40 professional bouts, and he's lost more than he's won, but he's been in with some good men. And it's an interesting test here in this third pro bout for Lewis. Good right hander. An interesting flurry of blows there from uh, Lewis, especially the uppercut. Good shot. It's a difficult bout in a way, this, for the Olympic champion because he's expected to win and expected to win well. Uh, and if he doesn't do that, if he just puts up an average performance, people will say, well, he doesn't look uh, as though he's going to go all the way. But he'll find that for the first 10 or 12 professional bouts. I suspect that he might find himself boxing for a championship, though, after about 15. Uh, he certainly should with his pedigree. Well, Gerard seems to be enjoying it. Lewis certainly seems to enjoy hitting him. So everybody's happy in this one. Gerard boxed Gary Mason a couple of years ago on the Bruno Bugner bill. And I remember a particularly sweet left hook from him had Mason in trouble for a short while, but Mason stopped him in six rounds. It's a sweet jab from Lewis, which Gerard can't do a great deal about. He's eating it up. I'm not quite sure what that gesture means. Lewis is 24 and as well as Olympic champion, he was Commonwealth Games champion in Edinburgh in 86. So he's got an excellent pedigree in terms of amateur boxing, and extremely ambitious to go all the way in the professional ring. Has he got it? First round without a doubt to Lewis. He uh, showed some nice boxing skill there, switched the attack from head to body. And the jab in particular looked nice. Gerard seems to take those hooks to the body without flinching, but the uppercut, which came in the very early part of that round, was a, a splendid punch. Two of them, in fact. Second up. Round two. Now in over 40 bouts, Gerard's only been stopped by three men, one of them Gary Mason, another of them Horace Notice, who was the British heavyweight champion. Although he took Notice to a points decision in their first meeting. So it would be quite a feather in the cap of Lewis if he were to stop Gerard too. The Welshman prides himself on his durability. He's got bags of courage. see here what Lewis can really do to try and stop his man, how he will vary the, the fight, vary his attack, try something new, without of course risking too much, he doesn't want to walk onto a punch. His handlers tell me that they want to keep him pretty busy, a fight a month, something like that culminating in a British title challenge uh, sometime next year. And 
really was having fun out there. Well, it's a fun business when you're well on top and you're not shipping too much punishment yourself. And he's certainly in that position at the moment. is a huge sporting hero in Canada having won that gold medal for them and it might very well have belonged to Britain had his family decide to stay here but at uh, about six years of age he moved to Canada learned all his boxing there so all credit to them but he was born right here not so far from Crystal Palace in South London you might remember that um, he stopped Riddick Bow of the USA in Seoul to win the Olympic gold medal. Bow was a hot favourite there. Well, he's really toying with Gerard now in this round, doing much as he pleases. And there can surely only be one winner here, and I don't think it'll take him an awful lot longer to prove that point. Game boy though, Gerard. Gerard, incidentally, has twice been the distance with Glenn McCrory, who's the current IBF cruiserweight champion, world cruiserweight champion. So he's uh, he's got a little bit of form. <laughs> Lewis will uh, go out to stop his man in this one. He's well on top, he's got the beating of him, shown him every punch in the book. Here we go. Will it come here? Gerard doesn't want to take those sort of head punches all night. Not good for your health. Larry O'Connell, the referee, is very experienced, will take a good look at Gerard from time to time and make sure that he's not taking too much. This is all part of the learning process for Lewis, the Olympic gold medalist, super heavyweight from Seoul. He actually boxed in the Olympics four years before in Los Angeles, but he was only just about 19 at the time. And uh, interestingly, he got beaten by Tyrell Biggs, the eventual gold medalist this, this coming week, against Gary Mason. <laughs> Lewis had offers from the United States and, of course, Canada uh, to turn professional, decided to turn pro here in Britain. He's got his eyes on the British title and the Canadian heavyweight title. Apparently he qualifies for both. <laughs> and then it'll be all the way to Tyson. Although one must bear in mind that he's already older than Tyson, 24. But he's really landing as he likes against Gerard. I'm sure he'd love to prove a point by knocking him out, if he could. But that won't be easy against a man like this. He knows enough about uh, cutting out Lewis's reins, as you'll notice. He steps inside the punch quite often. Boxers don't often get, get uh, knocked out when they box sort of defensively like Gerard. It's when they're attempting to do something themselves that they walk onto a knockout blow. Well, what happened?
happen there? I didn't quite hear a bell. <laughs> Neither did the Welshman. Lewis certainly did. And we heard the hooter. Well, that's just from the crowd. And just for a second there, I thought Larry O'Connell might be stopping the bout. Have a look at this, because Gerard is shipping some punishment here. And I thought the referee might have thought that was enough. In comes the hand, but it was just the end of the round. You've got to go out again, my son. Seconds up. this crowd here at the Crystal Palace uh, looking at a future world heavyweight champion. It's a tough old route. And Lewis now attempting to bring uh, Gerard's guard down. He's not succeeding in that, but he's landing anyway, and the referee's had enough. And that's quite right, and Gerard agrees, and he gets stopped for the fourth time in his career. Courageous effort, but a good performance by Lennox Lewis. Three bouts, three wins, and he'll fight again on October the 10th in Hull against Steve Garber. He's pleased with that. But Gerard was definitely taking too much right at the end there. There was no point in it continuing. He wasn't offering that much himself, and is. Uh, no point at all in continuing to take head punches like that. 33 seconds of the fourth round. Referee Larry O'Connell. The contest will save Andy Gerrard further punches.